What's up, nerds and nerdettes? Welcome to another episode of Coffee and Kayfabe. I'm your host, Tyler Mack, the Duke of Nerds, host of the 30 Nerdy Podcast, here representing the Nerd Initiative. Well, it's been another week of wrestling, another week and weekend. NXT had a hell of a show last night. Uh, we got Mellow Turn on Trick. I'm, I'm pretty sure most people were heading in that direction in their mind. I tell you, those two are future champions. And I'm not talking just tag team champions. Those two have got some killer stuff to offer the business. They are definitely championship material on the main rosters. Um, very excited to see what their futures hold. Um, especially Trick, man. I mean, he just has it all. He's got the package, my friend. Um, look forward to within the next year or so seeing him as like an IC or US champion um, on the main roster. Or maybe not. Maybe he stays in NXT another year and dominates the main title game for a while. Um, was, time shall tell. But what I really want to sit here and talk with you or drive and talk with you about is uh, the big thing that happened this past Friday. And uh, no, I'm not talking about uh, KO and Logan Paul setting up a rematch. <laughs> I'm talking about the, uh, the fact that I guess we're getting Rock and Roman. Um, for the title at Mania, which for me means one thing. They are going to let Roman Reigns break Hulk Hogan's record. That's what it means for me. Because The Rock has not taken the WWE title off of Roman Reigns. It's not The Rock. I could have seen Cody, absolutely. But if we're getting Cody Rollins, that's good too, I guess. I get the whole like thing behind the Dusty title, the workhorse title. I get them selling that, but you know, I don't think Rollins is at 100%, and I don't think he'll be at 100% at Mania unless this, unless this injury is, is you know, a, a work. And it very well could be. It wouldn't be their first time making an injury a work. We all know that. However, it just seems very grounded in reality. Now, part of it might be in reality, part of it might not be, but it is what it is. So I definitely see uh, Cody taking the title from Rollins and maybe Rollins taking some time off. Uh, he's, he has really worked his ass off for a while now. Um, just to hell of a worker um so yeah i think uh everyone seems like they wanted rock and roman i personally didn't need it like our dear friend uh and fellow co-host of the 30 and podcast the juice has been saying for like a year more than a year we need rock roman we need rock roman i actually kind of disagree with that i don't i don't need I mean, I get the, the bloodline aspect of it. I get the, like, they're cousins, and I get the Rock draws money, and I know that there's a big... I'm probably in the minority, honestly, of not wanting Rock Roman because, you know, I mean, I get the gist of it. It's exciting to see the Rock back at times, but Rock doesn't need the title. Rock doesn't need to beat Roman for the title, so we know the title isn't changing hands. And in all honesty, all I foresee is this match ending with Roman winning and The Rock acknowledging Roman. Again, we got that. The Rock tried to pass Roman off to us a few few years ago before he passed himself off. And, uh, you know, that's how it went. But listen, I want to know what you all think. What would you have rather have seen? Are you happy that it's Rock Roman? Or would you have rather seen Cody Roman 2? 
Or what would you have rather have seen as your main events of WrestleMania? I know Punk's not happening because he's injured. That sucks. I'm really worried about these injuries going into Mania, my friends. I mean, and that is just proof that even though I, I disagree a lot of times with, with the schedule of uh, Roman Reigns, I don't like it. I don't like that he's not there. I don't like that he's... I, I get what they're doing. I mean, I probably, if I were in the business, would restructure my contract to be the same way, you know, so you're, you're with your family more. But at the same time, I've just not been a big fan of people who aren't there. You know, people were pissed when it was Brock doing it. People were pissed when it was Goldberg not there all the time holding the title. So what makes Roman any different? Is it because he's, you know, better in the ring is it because he's giving us better storylines i don't know but what did you, what do you think i want to hear in your comments below uh are you happy that it's rock roman are you happy that it's cody rollins did you did you foresee a different uh main event match happening uh let us know at the nerd initiative uh put it in the comments below Check out the website, Nerd Initiative. Follow us on social media. And uh, we want to hear from you. Cheers to you, nerds.